Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil here, reporting some fun, hilarious, but quite serious news today. So one of the greatest perks for Animal Crossing New Horizon fans is playing the stock market. Their goal? To sell turnips for an extreme amount of profit. It's quite easy to gain millions of bells or more. Not only is it lucrative to sell the turnips, but it's also very profitable for the fan that's opening their gates for others to come. However, the problem is when you invite strangers onto your island. Animal Crossing New Horizon fans can really reap the reward of buying turnips for a low price and then selling high, just like a real world stock market. The stock market is individualized among players in so much that each player's stock market is separate from the others. In other words, it's different for every Nintendo Switch. Therefore, players buy low on their island and then travel to others' islands to sell for extreme profits. I have a video linked in the description that walks you through this process, so for more information there, be sure to check that video out. I may also put a small banner in the top right hand corner, but I'll likely put it in the description as well. Also, leave me a comment below, have you opened your gates for selling turnips and had good experiences or bad experiences? Let me know how things are going for you. Animal Crossing New Horizon fans are now hiring bouncers. That's right, bouncers. Bodyguards. There are horror stories of others inviting strangers to their islands and their items have been completely ransacked. And the trades? They weren't completed as agreed to either. People have started to create countermeasures to combat against this anarchy. What will it take for others to respect someone's virtual private property? So this information mainly comes from several Twitter posts in the past couple of days. A post on Twitter by Angela at Ember Wolf Forest reads, You know it's real when the island you visit for turnips has a bouncer. Hashtag Animal Crossing. As you can see from the hilarious but quite serious photo, the fans have dressed themselves as bouncers. You can also see how confined the pathway to the shop is designed. Its main purpose is to restrict chaos and ensure deals are completed as promised. And as a side note, credit goes to Twitter user Core Oreo at Maple Cove for the island design and ideas behind this inventive way of handling this issue. The bouncers, who are paid from the turnip profits of the island, are no joke. Their sole purpose is to block shop access so that they are held to their initial trade agreements made before entering the island. Another post from Twitter, from Aaron at OtterAISU, reads, My friends and I tried this out too earlier this week. It's super fun, and be safe, I do recommend. As you can see from this picture, these players are simply creating a location close to their airport for turnip selling and trading of goods. In addition, they have set up some basic fencing to help guide or restrict others that visit the island. Reading through other various Twitter posts, I see the general consensus is to simply control the chaos as people come onto their island. While some have had their virtual property damaged by various means, some simply want to ensure their payout is as promised. I've posted a link to the Twitter feed of this discussion if you'd like to check it out more for yourself. For more Animal Crossing news, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And as always, take care and we'll see you next time.